Hi, this is Lola. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you oh, uh, what I hoard um, the most with pens. Pens I use because it's easier to use most of them and it goes kind of fast. But the notebook, it takes kind of a bunch of time. So I have all these. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you everything. Probably going to end up selling those just because I feel like I'm using mostly Hobonichi. And, um, and there are some Hobonichi in there this one um, I just don't know I don't travel enough to have that many travel journals either so I, I don't really know what to do with them so I will turn the camera around and show you uh, my frame um, okay so we're gonna start this actually was not a purchase it was the a6 was it Stalogy? No, Nanami Cafe Note that I used and I was tired of journaling in it so I kind of kept the rest and used one of uh, my photography postcard as the cover that I just washi taped and this is a Midori uh, cover. There's still gold leaf everywhere in my notebooks. Um, then I have the graph notebook from Hobonichi in A6 which you know, I feel like I almost have two now and I'm not quite sure what to do with it. I'm a little strange with that because I could just use them next year to do my illustrated journal, but I'm so used to having the dates and everything and to have it in a certain format and I've been doing it, I'll be my fifth year next year. I kind of want to stick to what I've been doing. Uh, I have an extra Midori cover, I don't even know. I bought this, there's gold leaf in everything, you guys. This is just gold leaf. Um, this is um, the Paper Penguin, and um, so it's Tomo River in the week's size so let me see if i can show you i actually haven't tried it but i basically bought it with the idea that it, it could be a good travel journal and i guess that's why i still think about the fact that maybe maybe i should just stick to a few sizes and that would be it look that looks really cool bam it's in my earl gray weekly calendar from shakespeare huh maybe i'll leave it there for now Mm -mm. don't know what to do with it yet and then I'm going to forget it's there also I used the Earl Grey way too much <laughs> so, <clears throat> sorry about that that was um, that was it for the week's size then I have all these that are traveler notebook um, friendly which by the way I just waxed that cover that I was showing you in the other video that looked destroyed and look at how beautiful it is I don't know what I did wrong last time but, and it looks weird here, but it's the light. It's not, you can still see it's still drying. I literally just did it, so. But it doesn't look like I have those shiny things. So I have a few, I have the Traveler's Company here. Does it say what it is? No. I think it's the one that usually comes with the book. Then I have a few that I bought from Boom Kuchen. This one, which has mixed paper, never used, obviously. Uh, all those who wander are lost which has mixed paper too and I had done like this beautiful moment thing <sighs> yeah I don't know what to do with this I, I love it but I don't see same that's probably another one that came with the traveler's notebook these I also got at Boom Kuchin and that's a sketchbook so the paper is a little bit thicker and no it's not I was going to check if it was perforated I have the free diary the 14 month uh, from Traveler's Company I used to use that that was like one of my first planners and I got nostalgic and I bought this and now I don't know what to do with it then I have this one I believe is a B6 let me see it's my nostalgia yeah it's not quite a B6 slim but it's the Lustrum 1917 and I get I used to use um, moleskin I think I had a Lushram two years ago for bullet journaling and when I heard about a new size I got it and now I don't know if I'll ever use it the Toroka design I love um, it's Tomo River paper and this is in the A5 size I, like, I don't know I don't know what to do with these I'm thinking about maybe selling them because the bottom line is I use the A6 Hobonichi for illustrated journaling. I'm really set on using the Cousin because I've loved it um, when I used it last year and I missed it and now I'm back in it. Um, 
so another Hobonichi and then I have two weeks I have my planner and then I have one that has more like kind of deep thoughts I have this stylogy that I think I no, I didn't even get it out of the package that's crazy uh, 365 uh, an A5 size and then when I bought the Hobonichi Avec that I have it was used and so I have I don't know what I'm going to do with this January to June it was cut in the back which I mean and I think yeah I don't think she wrote anything in it I'm just checking no I may try to sell these I mean I was just like do you guys have that many notebooks that are like laying around like if I were traveling more it would make sense but plus now who knows when we're gonna get to travel again but um, yeah I just wanted to share kind of my shame <laughs> shame um, I've stopped buying them that's the good news but um, yeah I kind of feel silly with those so yeah I just wanted to share that I guess and find out if you guys also have a bunch of like notebooks for later um, that you kind of hoard um, thanks for watching and I hope everybody's doing great. Bye-bye.